Good morning, kindergartners. Happy Science Wednesday. We are going to learn about caterpillars and butterflies today and talk a little bit about the butterfly life cycle. We are going to talk about caterpillars. So first I want to show you parts of a caterpillar. These little things right here, those are called tentacles. Okay, they have little things right there. They help the caterpillar sense things, use our senses. What are our senses? We have five of them, do you remember? We can smell, taste, see, hear, and touch, okay? And so those help him to do those things, especially to smell, okay? Now, a caterpillar is an insect. An insect has three body parts. Okay, they have their head, they have their thorax, and their abdomen. Okay, so here's the head, here's the thorax, and here's the abdomen, okay, which is kind of their tummy part, like our tummies is called our abdomen. All right, they also have these little bristles, those little hairs on it. Do you know what those do? Have you ever touched a caterpillar and maybe it made your hand red or itchy? That's because these protect the caterpillar. They irritate whatever touches them to keep them safe so people don't touch them and animals don't eat them. So that's why sometimes when you touch them, your hands may get red and itchy because it's a defense mechanism for them and there's something in their hair that causes that reaction. All right, and then that's pretty much all I want to show you about that, but I did want to tell you that caterpillars are herbivores. An herbivore is something that eats plants only, and they eat plants. In fact, caterpillars eat all the time, like constantly, every day, all day long. Do you remember the very hungry caterpillar that he was so hungry that he ate like everything? Well, that's because caterpillars eat a lot. They get big and fat before they turn into butterflies. They are like little garbage disposals. They eat tons of leaves. Leaves are good for them. The caterpillar in the book found out that all the candy and pickles and ice cream was not really good for caterpillars. So they have to eat their plants. Okay, they eat plants. All right, and also they usually are the color of their environment because they try to blend in to keep them safe. So sometimes they may be brown or black or maybe they're yellow, um, they can be green, whatever color is their environment, they tend to be that color, but they can be all different kinds of colors where depending on where they live and where they're coming from, okay? So before a caterpillar turns into a butterfly, it starts as an egg. In these little eggs, there are caterpillars. There's little baby caterpillars in there. Isn't that so cute and exciting? Look at those eggs. Okay, and then after he comes out of the egg, he's called a larva or a caterpillar. Okay, so look at that. And look at his little legs. He's a cute little caterpillar. Then as the caterpillar eats and gets fat and he starts to grow up, he gets to a point where he wraps himself up in a chrysalis or a cocoon, kind of like a blanket where he stays inside and it's wrapped all the way around him. It might look like this. This is also called the pupa stage. I know that's a weird word, but it means that that's what he's called inside, okay? Because he's not a baby anymore and he's not an adult yet. So kind of like a teenager, but he's a pupa. And so that's him in there. He's hiding in here and he's waiting to turn into a caterpillar. Or not a caterpillar, I'm so sorry. Oh, a butterfly. I just am so excited about caterpillars. So the caterpillar is in here waiting to turn into a butterfly. See if you can see him through the chrysalis. What do you think he's doing in that chrysalis? Do you remember the very impatient caterpillar book I read on a video just recently? I bet he's doing some of those silly things and maybe he's reading books, maybe he's singing songs to himself, maybe he's saying, has it time yet? 
So he's in the chrysalis waiting. What do you think happens after he's done in the chrysalis? Yes, when he's done, he becomes a butterfly. But do you know how he gets out? He chews the chrysalis. He eats it and comes out. And when he comes out, his wings are kind of sticky and wet because he's been inside something that's sticky and wet. So the butterfly has to actually sit outside for a while and let his wings dry. And then when his wings dry, the butterfly can fly away and is an adult, like a mommy or a daddy. Isn't that a beautiful butterfly? So after the wings dry, this is what happens, and they turn into butterflies or moths, okay? They can turn into both, and then look, the butterfly is checking out the flower. Butterflies like flowers. They also help pollinate flowers. So let's talk about the parts of a butterfly really quick. Find my other paper I was using, just in case I forget what I want to say. So here we have the butterfly. Right here, those... On the caterpillar, they were called the tentacles, but here they're called the antenna. And they help the butterfly to smell, so they use them to smell. And then right here, this is the nose. Okay, you see that little thing coming out there? Now, it's actually called a proboscis, which is a really hard word to say. Can you say proboscis? But it's just a nose, so it has a little nose. And then it has its little eye. And it has its head and its thorax and its abdomen. You can see the three parts. You can see one, two, three on this one. It has its little legs. And it has its wings. Okay. And look, how many legs does it have? Can you count those? Yes, it has six legs. Did you know that insects have six legs? Which is why a spider is actually not an insect because a spider has how many legs? A spider has eight legs, but insects only have six, okay? Just like this, it has six legs. All right, so that is the parts of a butterfly. That is the butterfly life cycle. We're gonna go over it one more time. I should have found a song to sing for this today. I'm sure there's a song out there about it. Maybe I can find a sing, a uh, sing. <laughs> this is fun, it's so silly. Maybe I can find a song for our frog life cycle one, or we can sing this on the next video that I do about the frog life cycle, okay? So here's the eggs. So I'm gonna say egg. Then the larva or caterpillar. Can you say caterpillar? Then it makes a chrysalis. And then it dries its sticky wet wings and it becomes a butterfly. Yay, butterflies, we love butterflies. They're so beautiful and so fun. All right, that is the butterfly life cycle. That's a little bit about caterpillars and butterflies. Check out the really cool videos I'm gonna share on Class Dojo about caterpillars and butterflies. And also, one more thing, Theo has a caterpillar at home and I'm hoping that she watches it turn into a butterfly and maybe I can get some pictures of it to share with you. Also, you can order caterpillars to be sent to your home in a kit and you can watch them turn into butterflies and watch them make their chrysalis at home. It even comes with a container for them. So if that's something you want to do, talk to mommy and daddy because that's really cool and it doesn't cost very much and it's shipped to your house so you can have it at home and you can grow your own butterfly, a real one. All right, that's all I have for today. Have a great day, everyone. Bye, friends.